let's talk about Minato's laundromat. I'm going to give you fair warning. This is not going to be for everybody and that is okay, but I'm going to give you at least the first chapter, tell you what it's about, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. The story is about Minato who has inherited a laundromat from his grandfather. It is, I think, the middle of summer and it is super hot. There's no air conditioning in the laundromat. And this is where he meets Shintaro, who is a second year high school student. He goes by Shin. One of the dryers wasn't working, so he goes over to fix it and help him out. So he has only newly acquired this laundromat. He used to be a corporate drone for a lot of years and he was just very overworked. So the fact that he gets still just lays about this laundromat is like a really nice change of pace for him. So Shin has come back to the laundromat today to give Minato a gift for helping him out. Now that they are introduced, Minato says thank you for the gift, but next time instead of bringing cookies, why don't you bring something a little bit more on the savory side? Sheen starts talking about his family. He comes from a family of 10. So he likes hanging out at the laundromat not only to catch up obviously on laundry, but because it's a little bit more peaceful and he gets to hang out with Minato. Cut to another day, Sheen is outside the laundromat waiting for Minato. The laundromat is closed. Minato takes Shin to his house to cool down, and while wiping the sweat off of him, realizes he's got to go. The air conditioning company is coming to install AC at the laundromat, so he's got to be there. Next day, Shin is back. Do you see this recurring theme? And they're starting to talk about dirty things, which I'm just going to linger on this panel for just two seconds. So Minato realizes that it was just TMI, and comes out to Shin, tells him, yes, I'm gay. And Shin decides to leave immediately, and does not return for two weeks. When he returns, Minato tries to brush off the last encounter like it was not a big deal, but Shin becomes very forward to Minato saying, I have sex drive, basically insinuating that he can help Minato out at that aspect. And while there are no plans in place to do anything immediately, he asks if he can start by being friends with Minato first. Minato agrees he thought they were friends already. So now they're just hanging out and Shin has gone from being very reserved to a little bit more flirty and forward which flusters Minato, specifically because he has no idea why Shin would be so flirty with him since he's so much older. Okay, that's the end of the first chapter. Okay, so first of all, this is rated teen. I think it should be rated older teen, I'm just saying. Second of all, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like I need to reread it because this is honestly a really messy, complicated relationship. And I feel like this is being marketed as like something super sweet and wholesome. And this is, this is not very wholesome. Like some of the stuff they say in this, I was like, wait, what did they say? just shocked the hell out of me really and I think in that aspect it kind of threw me off because I was expecting it to be one way and it's definitely not like that so am I gonna get the next volume yes they've got a complicated relationship I've got complicated feelings on it it's messy but I'm gonna keep reading it